My name is Matthew Hancock, and I'm playing the role of Verb. I am the hype man uh, for Pinnacle. I'm Chad Addison. I play the role of Pinnacle. Pinnacle is very, uh, very driven and focused with his music and with his and with, and with Peep and Verb, and uh, having that that group. Pinnacle and I have a um, shared childhood. We grew up together, so we grew up like brothers. Um, and now, when you meet us in the play, we are um, getting our big shot on The Tonight Show. Hi, I'm Clarissa Tebow and I'm playing Peep One. So, Peep One is this dope, smart, beat-making chick who's ethnically ambiguous and adopted. So she's got all kinds of question marks. My name is Dina Selenow. I'm the director of Hype Man. What's inspiring to me is the ability to bring this into the forefront so people can see what's being talked about um, in the mainstream, right? That this, these ideas of like race and gender and privilege and um, this isn't fringe anymore. This is what's happening and the, the important conversations going on. So that's what inspired me and it's in a script that's really poignant and funny and moving. What inspires me the most is the, the content of the play that spoke to me. I was like, this is, it's an unfortunate truth the play uh, revolves around that we have in today's society still. After reading it, I was like, I, got, I would be honored to be a part of, to be able to tell this story and to reflect today's society and uh, what we're dealing with through music as well. Well, the play itself is, um, has so much activism in it for me. There's a message of kind of of unity and, and there's a, um, a hopeful uh, flavor, but also it's still very much steeped in where we are now um, in regards to police brutality and, and uh, fighting for black lives. Um, so it, it, there's the, ju the juxtaposition of the hope, but then very much steeped in the reality of where we are today. When, we, when I at least play Peep One, it's from this, this place of listening a lot, taking in everything, really trying to understand, she tries to understand what her stance is on everything, really taking everything in and, and trying to make as informed of a decision as she can. The main thing that I take away from the play is both the ability and inability to find compromise. I feel like that's a very common theme in this country right now is finding common ground and it can be really hard, but um, especially if it's with somebody you love, it's worth it. And having those hard conversations are part of this current human experience. So I think that's really something that I take away from the play. I hope it, it leaves a mark. I hope that they leave um, in a way energized uh, because of the performances, because of the music, because of the feeling. I hope that they leave um, with a fire in their belly about um, what they're gonna do next um, and how the issues raised in this play is gonna affect how they move through the world. Um, I don't wanna give away more than that. <laughs> Hi, come see Hype Man at the Fountain Theater. Opening February 23rd. One day is pay what you can, so you have no choice. <laughs>